Hey guys, check it out. So this is early spring, last week of March, and a little update and check in on my, my oregano. So as you can see here, the oregano is coming back to life. Uh, it's doing well, looks really healthy right here. But uh, a lot of people may not know that oregano is a perennial in my zone, uh, zone six, zone seven, right on the border there. Um, but yeah, so oregano will always put out all these, a lot of runners, so you get a lot of this dead brush and everything. So what I went through in, went through and just kind of cut all this old stuff off like this. Give this a new stuff a fighting chance. It was buried under here. You could barely see any of it. Probably should have taken a video of that or a picture or something to show you. But I've already given this a haircut and I figured I'd uh, show you guys what's going on. Some of you may not have ever grown oregano before. Uh, I know we all know oregano as the culinary herb, which growing it yourself is much better than buying it from the store or uh, getting the dried powdered stuff, uh, you know, from the package from the grocery or something like that. But yeah, so using fresh oregano is so much better, so much more flavorful, especially when you grow your own at home. It's also very satisfying, but a lot of people do not know that oregano is actually used as a ground cover in some places, the hotter, drier areas where grass may not grow as well. And for a very good reason, because this is where the mother plant was put about four years ago, down in here. It has subsequently spread to back here, where it's actually starting to take over pretty well on this patch here. But like, as you can see, runners, and it puts them out. And right here is another plant sprouting up. Here's more. There's more over here. It's even growing over the center blocks, this rock wall. All right, and then same thing on the other side. It's going the same direction. It's even gone so far as to go under this log here and boom, coming out right there under a log, establishing itself. That's uh, last year's growth, new year's, uh, new growth coming through right there. So yeah, oregano can also be used as a ground cover. Uh, it's also ornamental, it's covered in flowers uh, the bees love. So in the spring, that really helps you guys out with the, uh, the summer blooms. Uh, the bees, the pollinators, uh, it smells wonderful. You can just rub your fingers through it, get a smell of it. It's uh, it's awesome. So, yeah, uh, also oregano, uh, pan back here. Oregano also is very easy to propagate through cuttings. Uh, this was, I think, one, if not two, plants I grew from seed. I put in here, like I said, four years ago, and it has spread and taken this whole space over. And when this growth is in the spring, I mean, it's going to be this huge mound of just vines and little runners going everywhere. It's uh, pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, like I said about the cuttings, uh, last fall I just took about six or so cuttings, uh, about three or four or five inches long, stuck it in some water for a couple of weeks. It started to grow roots, uh, transplants easily because you know it's taking over right here well I had a spot over here that I thought I wanted to get oregano going in so over here this little spot on the hill you see there's some more oregano right there and this last year was just a little little piece about this big I cut it off stuck it in some water uh, like I said I rooted easily I put in transplanted it's right here there's another one right there coming through um, and also there's another spot farther down where I've done this as you kind of pan back right here, there's these logs I'm kind of using as a, yeah, as like a terrace, I suppose. But so the logs are here, oregano's behind there. And I envision this kind of vining, kind of going over the log, making it just a little cascading effect right there. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Some early updates on the oregano. Give it a shot yourself. You will not be disappointed once you try your first uh, homegrown oregano. Uh, it's also just a really cool plant. The texture on these leaves is fuzzy. Yeah, and it smells great. So I uh, hope this helped you guys out there. If you've never grown oregano or maybe want to give it a shot, uh, awesome plant. I totally recommend it. But uh, that's all I got for today, fellas. So uh, we'll uh, sign off right here, Hillside Gardener, and we will catch you next time. Thanks.